gives her everything mm -hmm. worth a whole year's worth of wage. Yep. That could be today $50,000 for us. She breaks it, put it on the Lord's head. The, the house was filled with the odor. Some had indignation with themselves. Why was this waste ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence, and have given to the poor. That's Judas talking, we found out mm -hmm. from the others. So Judas rises up. Why did she let her do this? Why did she do this? We could have sold that and given it to the poor. And then we see in verse 5, And they murmured against her. Mm -hmm. So Judas starts off, then all the disciples just pour in on this young lady, this uh, beautiful thing she's done. Um, guess what? Jesus is going to have to stand up again and yeah. defend her. Isn't he? <laughs> just like Jesus had to defend her against Martha, they murmured, and Jesus defends Mary's beautiful sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Mark 14, 6. Jesus said, let her alone. Amen. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. Yeah. That word wrought. Don't be scared of those mm -hmm. words you don't use. Because we use wrought, don't we? Wrought yes, iron. sir. Wrought iron. Mm -hmm. That means to work a work. Mm -hmm. it, it takes work to build a fat. But when you work it, you're working a work. Yeah. And Jesus said, she has worked a work. A good work. That good work is a beautiful work on me. Uh, if you look into that word uh, good, it's beautiful good. But Jesus uh, rebukes Judas. Mm -hmm. For you have the poor with you always. Whatever you will, you may do them good too. But you have me, 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 you have not always. Mm -hmm. The point was, is that Mary listened to Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, I'm going to die. And uh, I'm going to die. And that's my, my kingdom is spiritual. Verse 8. She had done what she could. So Jesus saying, you're not going to have me with you always. You always have the poor. Mm -hmm. She had done what she could. How can we apply that to our lives? Yeah. Well, how can I do what I can? Yeah. You might not be able to get on a, a plane to go to the Philippines or to be a pastor. But you can do something, right? Yes, sir. And she had done what she could. She had this resource, mm -hmm. and she took a step of faith because she was going to probably use that to start a family, which is a big thing. If you're a young maid, you want a family, don't you? Mm -hmm. You bring that to the table, and a young man will come and join you in marriage. She was giving that up in sacrifice uh, to her Savior. In, in verse 8 says, She had come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Yeah. So she listened to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We can listen to Jesus too. Jesus yes, says, I'm coming. Yes, sir. And Jesus said, you need to go. Mm -hmm. And we need to sit down and read God's word and apply it to our lives. How can I apply that uh, today? I need to sit with Jesus and learn. Yes, sir. So get in and then go out and do something. Mary sat with Jesus. She learned that she did something, didn't she? Mm -hmm. She did something so much that any time we read this, yeah. she's going to be honored. Amen. And we see her, my last point is, we see her enduring uh, memorial. Yes, sir. This is her enduring memorial, verse 8. And this is going to be shorter tonight. We're going to just about be done. She had done what she could. She's come beforehand to anoint my body to the bearing. Verily, verily, I, verily, I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached, Throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of me, love for a memorial of her. Mm -hmm. So that's fulfilled right now, isn't it? Yep. From Jerusalem to Bethany to here in Fitchburg, we're talking about this lady. Yes, sir. And uh, the Lord uh, loved what she did. Yes, sir. She could do what she could. She had done what she could. My question to us today, am I doing what I can to become a fisher of men? Yeah. Am I doing what I can? Am I giving all that I can to be a surrendered clean vessel? Got to be a clean vessel before we can eat. Mm -hmm. right? We're not going to serve any any dishes today on dirty dishes. Right? Amen. We have to be a clean vessel. That means we have to be surrendered. Am I in the family of God? We need to ask that question. Mm -hmm. Am I really truly saved? Yes, sir. 
need to make sure you're saved. You need to make sure you're a surrendered vessel. You need to make sure that we are becoming fishermen. He said, I will make you fishermen, fishers of men. Yeah. Will you go and tell here in Massachusetts, in Pittsburgh, will you go and tell everywhere you go? It doesn't matter if people don't receive it. Yeah. That word of God will, will no. be used. You're to go to the uttermost part. And I'm going to close there, Pastor. I'll let you close us in an mm-hmm. invitation. That's my challenge of the day. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You know, like Brother was saying, I mean, this, this is, you know, the truth. You know, <coughs> verse 9 there in Mark 14, <coughs> Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of a for a memorial of her. You know, I mean, so for me, you know, I've always taken that as, as, <coughs> as a Christian, as a Bible believer, as one who has been tasked with sharing the gospel. Okay? I'm commanded right here. Wherever this gospel is preached, you make sure you tell people what she did. Because what the brother's saying here is so very true. She was paying attention. Remember how many times I've talked about how Peter, you know, why Peter cursed and swear. <laughs> there was, it, he was mad. He was looking for the Messiah. He was looking for that king. He was looking for that earthly kingdom. Uh, and he got mad at Jesus. You know, why are you giving yourself up? Why are you going to let them do this to you? you know, he'd been telling them all along. You know, she got it. Okay? The young lady, you know, probably, you know, late teens, okay? Here, here's these 12 and mm-hmm. walking around with him for three and a half years. She got it. That's why he said he tell the story more for her. And that's the thing. Is you know, yeah, Martha was busy serving. Amen. Praise God. You're supposed to serve. You're supposed to be busy for the Lord. But he said, you know, the Mary chose the important part, Martha. I'm not going to take that from her. I'm not going to do it. That she chose to sit down and listen and spend some time with me. And I don't care how hard you try to work. You try to work in your own power. You try to work in your own strength. You try to work in your own wisdom. You're going to fail. You're not ever going to accomplish for the Lord, what you could accomplish for Him if you did it in His strength and in His power and in His wisdom. That's what Paul's trying to get folks to understand when he talked about himself. You know, it's why I glory in my infirmities and I glory in my trials and my tribulations and my difficulties because when I am weak, when I'm not counting on me, then I'm strong. The Lord's power. Let's all bow our heads, Father. Lord, <clears throat> Lord, I pray. Lord, as I've been praying for years, Lord, for this church. I, I can never come in here, Father. Night after night after night, the pastor, uh, Wes, Lord, we go up and down these aisles and pray at every seat. Praying for revival. Revival is not a date in the calendar. Revival is not a planned event <coughs> that's going to occur because a certain individual has been invited in to speak. Revival, like salvation, is individual. And when it occurs simultaneously, in the individual hearts of member, members of the church, of a congregation. That is when that church sees revival. Mm-hmm. Now you can have an individual revival. And I'm asking you right now, your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. I'm asking you. 
go to God, go to the Lord, pray for revival preach. But I'm going to tell you right now, if each and every one of you, if I will have individual revivals in our lives, then Bible Believers Baptist Church will see a revival. Mm -hmm. I can remember times when we've had this place so full we we were wondering, are we going to have to move? Now we're few. Folks left for many different reasons. I'd love to see it full again. But my prayer, okay, as you know, you know me, I've been your pastor now heading on seven years. I'm concerned with quality, not with quantity. I want you to be everything that God has said you can be. And that starts with being like Mary. Individual revival. I'm not going to ask you to put your hand up. God so moves you to come on down to the little altar we have or kneel where you are, whatever. But what I'm praying for, what I'm asking for, what I'm begging for is revival in your life. Commit yourself for that good thing. That the Lord won't take away from you. Mm -hmm. That thing which is first that He wants you to have. And that's what I'm asking for you to do right now while we have this invitation time. Dear Lord, oh God, I pray. I pray for myself right now. Let me forward and experience a revival or a re-energizing of my life. I mean, I fight it just like everyone else does, Lord. Lord, I, I, I battle with not wanting to get discouraged. I battle with my flesh, want to be flesh. Lord, but when I am weak, I am Lord, I want that good thing for which I know you will not deny me or take away. Lord, we pray and we ask for this in Christ's name. And amen. Amen. Let's all stand and sing a closing hymn together. I find here all to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. <clears throat> 394 394 yeah you want to come down front front come on down you kneel where you are okay well, let's do it let's quit playing let's quit playing all to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. I surrender all. I surrender all.
today. Thank you, Father, for uh, Lord, uh, letting this brother be able to be here with us with his two sons. Lord, we pray for his wife. Lord, she was healing. Lord, thank you for what we have heard today from your word. Oh God, I pray, Lord, uh, burden our hearts. Lord, carrying the gospel begins at home and goes out from there. Lord, it's our duty to equip those, Lord, whom you call, Lord, whom you have called out and set aside for a specific work somewhere. But Lord, that doesn't lessen our individual responsibility where we are. Mm-hmm. And God, I pray that, Lord, with revival in our own lives and hearts, Lord, we would renew our efforts of being active and open witnesses to the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, so that the Lamb that died might receive those Lord, for whom he suffered. And it's in his name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we pray and ask this thing. Amen. 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 All right. Spend some time. Brother Mike and his boys, uh, they're going to be getting ready here shortly to head on out. And they got to head up to Lewiston. Yes, sir. There. I don't think I have any snow going on there.